Yes, everything that, uh, are we good? Good? Um, yeah, everything, all this, you're not going to hear it. You're going to hear me? going to hear you. Oh, that's amazing. Hey, guys, me and my child, again, Stabu, look at my low. The People Talking Podcast at Exotica, D.C., day one. I don't know about to put two fingers up. Day one, you know, trying this out on Friday, and I'm here with a new favor of mine. You know, I, I just I just discovered her recently. Um, I saw her with a shaved head, and I'm like, yo, who that? I like this. Um, and she go by the name of? Avery Jane. Avery Jane. You got any AKAs, Avery Jane? AKA the fuck machine. God, come on, girl. <laughs> Now, I'm going to ask you a few questions, nasty, if that's okay. Sure. You know, well, what <laughs> What do you consider yourself? What do you mean? As like a, you say porn star, you're an adult entertainer, or you just do all the things. I am everything. I am a porn star. I am a content creator. Content creator, I like that. Yes, I'm a bad bitch. I am everything. What makes you a bad bitch? What makes me a bad bitch? Honey, you gotta, you just gotta like know that you're a bad bitch, you know? Like, you gotta have it in you. You got confidence. Confidence and self love. Those things. And also, you know what? Love to everyone else, too. I think if you can be kind in a world that's so unkind, if you can show compassion and empathy and love and kindness, you're a bad bitch. How tall are you? Without heels, 5'1. Five 5'1. One. Five one. Everybody's like five foot or four foot. That's great. We short. We short down here. <laughs> we, we all tiny. Where are you from? Originally Louisiana, now Los Angeles. So from one LA to a different LA. What LA do you prefer? Uh, my current LA. Okay. What is your forte? I've only I've, I've seen a few things. I've seen some some slow sensual oral sex from you. Okay. I've seen some back shots. I've seen some other things. Some nice gentle riding. Okay. You know, um, what do you think is your strong suit? My strong suit is anal and hardcore gangbang. God damn it! Yes, <laughs> that's what she's like. Oh, the sensualness. <laughs> That's you know. Listen, when you slow it down, I'm like, oh, I could, I could see it. But she's like, nah, I'll be fucking, I'll be fucking. Fuck Not only do I like to get fucked, but I like to fuck. I be out here fucking people. I like, I like to turn dudes out. So you pegging people? Oh, I do peg. I do peg. That is so interesting. That's a whole nother level of like, hmm. What's the best pegging tip? Because I know a lot of girls want to peg men. I just kind of emulate my favorite men, like the way men fuck me, yeah. and I'm like, ooh, that felt good. So when I have the strap, I try to fuck like the guys be fucking me, you know? Okay. Yeah. So you pay attention to shit. Oh hell yeah, you got. <laughs> I practice my stroke game, you know. What's your worst uh, experience with pegging somebody? So far, I've never had a bad one. Yeah. So far, they've been good. I've like fisted a few men. I've pegged a few people, men, women, everyone. Does that turn you on the pegging? Kind of, yeah. What part? The uh, emasculating men? <laughs> no. well, it just, it feels powerful. Like Joking. <laughs> I mean, hey, if they're into it, I'm into it too. Right. But uh, not for me. It's like I feel powerful. I get to wield, you know, the dick for once. And it just kind of makes me feel like I'm in this position of power. Like, I got the meat this time. I love, I love your energy. You're amazing. What's your favorite cereal? Ooh, right now I'm stuck on that, like, honey butchins of oats. It's just like the plain with the almond. Yeah. It's nice and like subtle. Like, and simple. It's like grown up Frosted Flakes, yeah. It's my grown up Frosted Flakes. We're what, kind of, what kind of milk are you drinking? Ooh, either 2% or almond milk. This is where people judge you. I gotta, I gotta ask these questions. If you still drink whole milk, you a savage. <laughs> people judge whole milk. I drink whole milk sometimes, but I think 2% is that nice sweet spot. So you know black people, we lactose intolerant. So whole milk is... Probably not. Nah, skip off on the whole milk. How old are you? 28. You got a couple more years, man. I'm 34. It, 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 it don't, it don't. It don't. Catch up to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta stop drinking milk. Right. Short too. It's going You know, it's gonna. That metabolism is so down soon. It's starting. It's starting already. Already, I'm like, damn. Like, at 28, my body is not the same at 22. What the fuck? You eating vegetables? Now I do. Yeah, I had to start. You meat eater still? Yeah, but I'm trying to like go down to like chicken chicken and fish but i like red meat what's been your worst experience in this industry how long you been in this industry actually uh i just reached my three-year anniversary oh, wow. yeah. congratulations good <laughs> so proud of you <laughs> but getting fucked <laughs> I've been getting fucked professionally for three years y'all right. listen she can't pay to get fucked you know and fucking exactly i get to like make love and have orgasms 
and pay my bills by that. Your best and worst experience, put them together. Ooh, best experience has probably been shooting in Europe, uh, going to Prague, Czech Republic. I love shooting there and that was awesome, getting to like go out of the country for the first time in my life because of porn. You know, I would never have been able to do that. Worst experience? I don't know if I can like narrow it down to a single experience, but I will be real with y'all for a second and say that the porn industry, like every industry, can be racist and have its issues with racism. So as a black woman in porn, we've had some negative experiences. I saw it coming when you said when you lean when you lean it, you say, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Something. It's a little racist. You know, they be calling me all kind of names. I don't like it. <laughs> no, no name calling, but it's in the subtleties. You know, who gets opportunities, who gets showcased the most, who gets what. Um, but, you know, at the end of the day, I love the industry, so I'm trying to make a change. I'm trying to make it a little better. I appreciate you. Um, I, I interviewed Diamond Banks last uh, year, or not last year, but earlier this year, and she definitely hinted at the racism and the subtleties and the prejudice that is in the industry is ramp is rampant dick sucking tips dick sucking tips um honey you want to suck the dick like it's the first of the month and rent's due and the rent depends on it baby you suck that dick suck that dick like rent is due that's my tip just suck it like a no tomorrow ain't no other ain't no other dicks <laughs> this the dick <laughs> the dick and you suck it like you love it can we get this little 360 you know, show this all because this is a, I like it. I love this. I got to wear panties today, though, so I'll try to keep it safe. Yeah, you got to be careful. Ain't no nudity here. Allow. My, my Instagram already got shut down for doing this. I'm doing it again. I'm, I'm being, I'm playing with fire. Y'all got to be careful. Uh, Instagram pops off for, for Expo Weekends. I don't know why, but everyone loses their Instagram accounts right after Exotica's. So I'm going to go put my profile on private ride it out for a few weeks after Exotica once all the posting's done and then I'm gonna come off private again. That is a fucking phenomenal idea. I mean, since my, I wish I did that shit before. <laughs> I know. I, I just realized that. I just realized that this year because I was tracking it and I had a buddy who's not even a porn star. He came to Exotica, took pictures with us, lost his Instagram. So I was like, it's Exotica. It's, when expos happen, I think, and people start posting and tagging, I think the algorithm picks up on it. People just start losing accounts. I lost my Instagram, I think after, was it Chicago maybe? I think Chicago. Chicago or Miami Exotica lost my Instagram. <laughs> Someone got real mad. They got real mad at a post I made. What's been the best uh, Exotica so far? So far? What's uh, location? I don't know. Uh, to me, either Chicago or Jersey. I say, you better say Jersey. <laughs> Chicago or Jersey. Jersey was probably the most popping. I think Chicago holds a special place for me just because it was my first one ever, so I have fond memories. And then this is my first D.C., so once we get to the end of the weekend, I'll be able to consider if D.C. was the best or not. Understood. Do you have any fetishes? A lot. Everybody says that, but, like, what is the top three? Top three? Um, shit. Uh, probably, like, fuck, top three. Can I, do I, I, I hope not shit, but, yeah. No, <laughs> Can we do a top five? Top five, go for it. Okay. Anal, double anal, spit, feet. Oh, and anal fisting. Those are the top five. Without I need those five. And I saw her with the slow sensual sex. <laughs> so that's the thing with me. I'm a hardcore performer, but I'm also like, um, I don't know, like, I'm like a sex healer, a sex worker, like, but really, like... You're a romantic. Exactly. So you'll watch a lot of my pornos, and it's kind of confusing because it's, like, hardcore. I'm being fisted in the ass. Like, everything's going crazy, but we're also still very deeply connected, and it's still very sensual somehow. And that's probably what I took away. I'm like, man, I, I like... She's, like, looking at my eyes. <laughs> I like this. This is dope. You know, and nice to look at you in your eye today. I'm going to see you tomorrow for sure. And we're based in Jersey, so whenever you're in Jersey... We gotta figure this out. All right. I will hopefully be at Exotica Jersey next year too. Yeah, cause Jersey was popping. It was a great time. I mean, this was, it's nice. It's nice. So we gonna wait till tomorrow. Cause tomorrow apparently is sold out. We gonna see what's going on. We'll see. Yeah, I'm excited for tomorrow. Thank you again. Thank I'm gonna talk to you. Guys. Thank you so much. Again, my name's Avery Jane. Search me, look me up, I'm everywhere. Look up. Where, where can we find you? 
You can find me everywhere. I'm on Instagram, Avery Jane Official. I'm on Twitter, Avery Jane XO. From there, you can find all my spicy content. I'm on OnlyFans, mini vids. I have my own website, Pornhub, X Videos, Loyal Fans, Sheer. Literally anywhere you can access porn, I am there. So support us, support me, support your favorite stars and creators, and buy our content. And uh, yeah, tip us every time you jerk off to us. You're amazing. I have more questions. <laughs> <laughs> Male and female stars that you have not yet shot with that you want to shoot with? As far as men, I would still love to shoot with Kieran Lee because I have not shot with him yet. He's like one of the top up there that I haven't shot with. Uh, as far as girls, um, I would still like to work with like Anna Fox, uh, Demi Sutra. Demi Sutra is, is fire. She is fire. She is She's fire. <laughs> fire, yeah. So, so me and her been having a little ch chitty chat, chat about. Make it happen for me, Monty. We're doing it. We have to do it for the people. It's a service to the world. No, no, no. no. Put dedicated to Monty. Dedicated to Monty. <laughs> when it happens, I'm gonna see you tomorrow. Thank you so much, Avery. Yes, thank you guys so much. Have a good expo. Wow. <laughs>